hygiene. I can <laughs> <laughs> I consider like Yu-Gi-Oh and Magic the Gathering and even gaming fans to be a bit anime adjacent, right? That's what I consider. When you get into the aspect of hygiene, and I'll I'll tell a little snippet here. I went to a Yu-Gi-Oh ga- local tournament because I've been really mm-hmm. into Yu-Gi-Oh recently. I've been playing Master Duel. I'm really good. Yeah. I'm I'm like highest rank in the game. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to buy a starter deck, play a, a game. I went there. I saw shit stains on one of the chairs. And that fucked up my week for years. I'm not going to lie to you. That fucked up my whole week for years to come. Oh my God. I was like, what? And then a guy, big dude, big, big burly dude. He's t- like a big, big masculine dude. Had a beard. He was like, what's up, man? He was, he did not understand the aspect of personal space, like at all. Like he was like close to me. And I was like, why are you so close? And then, and then one dude took two of my cards. So I was like, what the, f- what the fuck is going on? I was like, what's happening here? And I was like, maybe it's just a Yu-Gi-Oh community. I was thinking that. But then I went to an anime convention and I did a, a whole panel about musty niggas. Whole panel. The whole <laughs> whole panel. It was an hour long panel about. I had like the whole. It was just one panel in the background of me just complaining. It was just the. It was blue from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Got bo get do. That was the whole thing, and mm. I was blacklisted from that convention. <laughs> Which is Man. fair. Which is fair, I guess. But they they need to hear it. I think. Do you feel like that is a prevalent issue? Like hygiene. Do you think that's a big issue? Um, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Now it's been getting better over the years because as anime has grown, um, I think it's just, you know, more people that did not really grow up with anime and didn't, you know, have, it, it really has to do with like a lot of people that watch anime for the most part, or, you know, are playing car games and things like that, um, have, felt growing up that they were outcasted from society right Mm. it's not everybody but there's a there's a definitely a lot of people that feel that way and anime has always been that space where they were never really judged but it was because you know you're you're by yourself so there's no requirement for you to go hop in the shower there's no requirement for you to go hit the gym eat healthy eat like because you're not interacting with anybody you know there's no you're you're watching a show you know you're you're interacting with yourself and it that is definitely an issue for when they finally come outside because when i when they come outside you 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 feel the must you know what i'm saying it's in the <laughs> air it's everywhere you know what i mean the sweat stains on the tea it's bad um and i think it's more of a situation where we us people that understand right and have been in social situations have to kind of really teach them because again they don't know how to like i said for the most part even a lot of the uncomfortable conversations that you know i've seen some even some guys have put girls in and stuff like that right a lot of the times it's not even coming from like a a devious mentality right a lot of these guys literally don't know how to interact like with anybody you know what i mean it's not just guys sometimes girls too like they just don't know how to interact because they've been in this in their own bubble just consuming anime and manga content to the point where it's like they don't know how to interact with people they don't know how to you know they don't think taking a shower it smells bad because they've been in their own must they they don't know they smell bad you know what i mean they're just watching anime it's not until somebody tells them yo you smell wild right now then it's like oh snap like (laughs) you smell you know and it starts to connect (laughs) but it's real you know what i mean so it's like that's valid so i think it's really it's when I hear stories like that, it's really like some of us, like, you know, on the outside looking in, like, yo, we kind of have to put our arm around them and say, hey, you know, this is, this is, you, you know, it, it's more of like people, people kind of have a joke in the anime community where they say, you know, go outside and touch grass. But it kind of is like a reality where it's like you can watch anime and you can enjoy and consume the content, but you also have to go outside and interact with people. Because you need that balance. You need to have, like, humans need to interact. Like, you know, like, you have to talk with people and, and, you know, go to the grocery store and do certain things. And you can't just, like, sit and just watch anime and read manga all day and just not interact. Because the times where you have to be outside, like, no one's going to want to be around you. Because you you don't know how to have a conversation. 
you don't know, you know, your hygiene's not in the right state, like, and all those things obviously come into play. So I, that, that's what I think about when I hear those stories for sure. Mm. And I think this comes with a, a bigger head because I've, I've tried to take one of my friends to an anime convention and I finally got them to come out to me with an anime convention, right? Mm-hmm. And I, I forget this so often. I'm not a repulsive looking nigga, right? I forget that. Mm. You're a good looking dude. I'm a good looking dude. We are not the norm of an anime person. I didn't know that. Like we you know, you play basketball, I play soccer. So I we were active. I go to the gym three times a week. You, I imagine mm. you work out, I imagine, you know, you you need to care about your health and things of that variety. I didn't know that. So I bring my friend who is abnormally attractive. Right, they're they like like thick thighs, big breasts. They come out, but they they've watched like Demon Slayer, that's like it. Mm-hmm. And they came right. there dressed as a uh, Mitsuri to love Hashira. So they come there, and people are just like, "Well, you're really cute." And she's just like, "Oh, thanks." And she's just like, "How do I tell them to not do that?" <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "You just I don't know, be mean, I guess. I really uh, this hasn't happened to me." And I imagine, yeah. and I was like, all right, cool. And then one of my friends, I brought this really good looking guy. He's just, he's just a good looking dude. And one of my friends is like, are you sure he likes anime? I'm like, am I sure he likes anime? This nigga can tell you everything about the voice entry and it hasn't even been revealed yet. This man is deep into anime. He's like, yeah, but I don't know. He just doesn't look like he's one of us. I'm like, what do you mean one of us? You call me ugly? I was confused what he was yeah. talking about because I didn't yeah. realize that that was an actual issue with anime fan. It messed me up a little bit. What is that? What yeah. is that? Where do you think that comes from? It's just the, the fact that like, oh, it's this special niece thing that I can only enjoy and not everybody likes it, so I got of gatekeep what is that it's it's gatekeeping um but it's gatekeeping to cope Mm -hmm. and i know a lot of people don't like to hear that but um it really doesn't make any sense to you know have a community of people just wallowing in their own self-pity you know i mean it doesn't really make sense like people and what's wild to me about this is that the very content that we consume speaks against this. Like us watching anime or reading manga, like they're constantly talking about self-improvement, you know, getting better, chasing your dreams. You know what I mean? Like all of that stuff. Like they literally tackle those same issues that you can't just be by yourself and, you know, oh, woe is me. Like you have to get out there. And I feel like certain people, like as much as they love anime and, and you know, and manga, they're not really absorbing what the manga is actually trying to teach them through their works. So mm-hmm. I think it's really just missing the mark. Some people do get it. And it's crazy because you start to see a lot of successful people are starting to come out and say, listen, I wouldn't be here if I didn't watch Dragon Ball Z, you know, <laughs> RIP Akira Toriyama, right? But there's a lot of people that are saying that because seeing Goku persevere, seeing Gohan and Vegeta persevere and all of those things, like... You know, it motivates you but there's also a section of the community that just watches it and says hey this looks cool cool colors cool fights cool artwork i'll support it but i'm not doing any of those stuff that goku was trying to show us you know i I don't care what naruto's saying about believe it i'm not believing anything you know and it's like it's it's like a foreign concept to us because we don't watch anime from that lens but there is a group of people that do and i feel like they feel more comfortable by you know being surrounded with people who also are in that same type of mindset um but it's obviously it's dangerous it's dangerous to do that so again i feel like it's also part of the reason why i'm doing show to showdown as well like i want to help create a space so people from all walks of life in the anime space can come through and and connect and have those types of conversations and like grow from it if they see somebody like me or somebody that I'm doing videos with, you know, we're talking about anime and listen, we take showers, you know what I mean? We go to the gym, you know what I'm saying? We work out, we do whatever, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, if they see that and it's, it, it's like, hey, like, it's, it's there. Like, there's people that do that stuff, you know? And I, I feel like it's just important for people to see that, see that anybody is just watching anime. It's not just, you know, people that, you know, are, are afraid to afraid to come outside and say they watch anime like everybody's watching everybody's reading manga like 
it doesn't matter what you look like, where you come from. We we all enjoy the same work. Yeah, we all we all one unit essentially. It, right. It feels to me it reminds me so deeply of uh the colorist issue i see a lot Mm. i i didn't know that i was light-skinned now this is gonna sound crazy to you because i'm not uh (laughs) i'm not light-skinned i did i in no universe would i consider myself a light-skinned however significantly darker than me said i'm a dark skin you're a light skin that means that there's a difference between us. And I said, this is just like somebody that grew up watching Trigun and my girl who just got in off Demon Slayer. It feels the same. Because I feel like we both like anime. I, don't, mm-hmm. I, feel, I feel like we both... I feel like we both... Because I would get profiled same as you, brother. Come on now. I, I, there's no difference yeah. to me. Like <laughs> It yeah. seems strange to have this fight within a fight within a niche within a niche. It feels so strange. It is stupid. I, I think it's abnormally dumb. It doesn't right. make a lot of sense to me. 